Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video here. Uh, today I'm joined by Virtual Farmer. Uh, we're going to be testing out the multiplayer stuff today. So if I quickly bring up the pause menu, we go to Farms here. As you can see, we've got Ulate Farms and Virtual Farms. We've both got £500,000 to spend. It should be dollars actually, I'll change that in a second. Um, I'll quickly show you the map. So VF's going to be based down here on these four fields, uh, including 23. He's got five because he's a smaller. And then eventually I'll be on these four. I've only got four because they're pretty big. But as we just found out, if I go to land, they're pretty expensive. All my fields are separate and they're also about 280. Well, this first one is 280,000 pounds of VF's actual land bit is 362. So we're going to see how that works out. But yeah, I'm going to let VF do his intro and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a second. So I think my goal is to start with field 22 because there's also a nice bit of land that comes with that. So I could technically build three fields there. I'm so I, I think I'm going to start with field 19. It's 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 a single field, but oh, it's, it's 150,000 pound cheaper than the triple. So I'm going for 280. Um, and uh, I don't think I can make enough money off the trailer. I need to leave some money for at least a tractor and a trailer. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna purchase field 19. So for those of you that don't know, um, different farms. I showed this at the beginning. So VF cannot. Uh, it won't, the game won't let him do anything on this land. So this is now my land. This little bit of red down here is. And they, actually, I can see your green on the map, which is cool as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So uh, as as, as Sims just said, you can see his his red around field 22 and my green now on field 19. So we we both got our first two areas, which is a little bit exciting. Yeah, <laughs> I've not, I've not, I've not got into that in the in the multiplayer yet. So uh, yeah, so we do do have two distinct farms at this point. We're doing this quite competitively as well. So I'm not going to tell VF which tractor I'm starting off with. How much money do I have left? I am going to buy the tractor and then I'm going to lease gear. I think. Right. So I'm I'm I am also going to buy my first tractor. Hang on a minute. Let's see what wheels we can um, get for this. I need to go and check on the state of my field first, though. Just gonna get the normal wheels because I'm doing this on a massive budget. My field's completely empty, so I'm gonna need to lease some. Uh, I have. Now this is where I find I have cotton. Oh no! So my starting, so my starting crop is potatoes. <laughs> I have not. Oh boy. Oh no! Mine is growing. Mine's already seeded, but so, there's nothing uh, here yet. Oh, so I need, I need a tractor uh, that can that can pull a potato harvester. Which is a fantastic start to this. Well, I've got nothing to do. Maybe some fertilizing. Um, it's I actually 100% fertilizing. fertilizing stuff first. Uh, oh, wow, potato harvesters are not cheap. I'm going to have to hire a potato harvester when it comes to that. This is um, literally a waiting game on my end because it's 100% fertilized and it's growing barley. Uh, so. I am 0% fertilized, 0% weeded, and uh, and growing. So I'm go I'm going to have to fertilize. So I need to, I need to get a tractor. That is uh, as a really good all-rounder that does not cost the earth. Oh, come on now, that's easy. And has a front linkage. But you know what would be interesting to see if you can steal my tractor? Because uh, I'm yeah. leaving at the store. So I'll, I'll meet you at the store. Oh, let me just check that there's no... I'm going to go with standard tyres. Uh, by the way, I should mention I, I'm such a habit, so I'm not going to avoid it completely. We are using uh, dev versions of the game, so if I sprint and run really fast, I do apologise. That is literally just because we're using the dev version. Of course, we're still at Giant's office, so I do apologise for the echoey yes, <laughs> microphone. The, the audio in this may not work brilliantly, so we apologise for, for maybe a little bit of a drop in the audio quality. Do you know you said you're getting that Vultra in... The, uh, VF colours. Yeah. It looks like you have a fake John Deere. Yes. <laughs> yeah, basically the VF colours are fake John Deere. So there we go. Ah, so you've gone for the T5. Maybe. Maybe it's least. Who knows? Well, I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I very nearly went for the T5. Um, there's no, a little this bit is, more power in this vault truck. This so. is least. My tractor's down there. I hit it down there. Right, so <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lease... Uh, I'm going to keep the cost down, and I'm going to lease a. Um, I'm going to lease a sprayer, I think. So I do want to see if I can get into your tractor, though. No, no, you can. No. Ah, fantastic! Uh, and then we need some liquid fertilizer as well. 
So for those of you that are well, obviously you're watching my video, um, I have took out a contracting mission because there's nothing to, for me to do on my farm. So I've leased a new Holland T5, including the sprayer, just to give us something to do. In fact, I just realised something actually. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a weight on my tractor as well because if I put this if I put this on the back, uh, the whole thing is just going to tip backwards. And they come down to the store. I forgot now in missions on like FS17, you also need to fill up the uh, fertilizer yes. spreader yourself. <laughs> Now that'd be interesting. I wonder if I can fill up off your fertilizer tank. I was just wondering that. I don't know which one's mine. I'm assuming it's the one on the outside. Uh, yours has all disappeared. Let me see if I can fill up with yours. No. No. That's an interesting so, yeah, thing. Yeah, so it really is. Everything is. Uh... So even the pallets have ownership, which is really cool. I'm right, heading out. So I'm doing a contract mission currently. Just so you are aware. Wow. The, not all of the fertilizer went into this sprayer. So this sprayer is uh, a lot smaller than that one. This one's used the whole pallet and still not full. Yeah, this, this one has used 1,300 litres. Right, I am going to take my... Uh, so it's amazing, like a lot of people say 500,000 pounds is a lot. I'm down to 158 now and I own a tractor and a single plot of land. Yeah, I, I'm the same. I own a tractor and, and a front weight so far. I've, I've hired my, um, I've hired my sprayer and uh, I'm down to 149,000. See, I just have a tractor, which is, by the way, you didn't see it, I hit it. It's the Fiat because Although it's the oldest tractor, it has more horsepower than the first four or five in the stock truck. Ah, so the, the T5 that you've got is a mission tractor though? Yeah, I leased it. Ah. Um, so my tractor's the Fiat, it's got 150 horsepower, which is all I'm for it. It's a bit slow, but I feel like the extra ponies are going to help. I'm actually going to cut for it. I like how some of the um, fields don't have like roads going into them. I do realise I have not put, I'm hoping I'm not going to destroy any crop because I haven't put, uh, I haven't put crop row tyres. So on this one this. came with it, luckily. Um, Let's go down the middle here. Yeah. But this, uh, this sprayer should be wide enough to pretty much do this whole field at once. Move out the way, birds. You can kind of see. Has it? They changed the um, the fertilizer texture for the liquid. It's a little bit lighter now, but you can still see what you're doing if you go up a little bit. I think I could do this in like three passes. I have no interest in buying a farmhouse right now because that's more money actually than I have. That's the thing I like that. So the farmhouse is what makes it your spawn point. So next time we come into here, if I have a farmhouse, that's where I'll spawn. Uh. But they're very expensive. I have the wrong tires on this. I'm destroying crop. You doing your own field? Yeah. Okay. I don't have crop destruction. That's the one thing about missions, which is pretty cool. A bit unrealistic, but cool because you don't destroy the crop. I don't think anyway. The cool thing with what I just did here, well, unfortunately, I rented my sprayer and filled it up with fertilizer. I've pretty much lost that fertilizer now. Yeah, that's, there is there is a trick with the missions. Uh, sorry, with the contracts. I need to keep calling. I need to start calling them contracts because they're not missions. Um, is uh, uh, is to only fill it as much as you need to to actually get the contract done. So if I'm, uh, I'm going to be out of pocket for this one, I think. Pretty sure I'm going to be out of pocket. So you really need to use your head if you're going to be doing this. Yes. This Ravenport is an incredible map. Like, for those of you that don't know, I've always been a massive fan. My favourite Giants map's always been Hagenstead from FS13. I think Ravenport took first place. Like, it's few, I love the details on it. This, this it, is these these maps are far more detailed than than anything that we've seen from Giants. It's weird using keyboard and mouse though. <laughs> I'm not used to it. And um, we are going this way. Okay, let's line this up properly. Speed limit line is 35 and this track has a top speed of 15. <laughs> I'm really loving this little box. 
I, uh, I fell in love with the vultures in, uh, in FS uh, 17. I think they're really, they're really nice looking tractors. I'm going to <laughs> hope they don't mind. I'm going to be using the spinnery as a temporary car park because I don't have a farm. <laughs> yeah, whereas I've got wasteland. I have nothing, so yeah, I'm using the spinnery as my temporary park up place. 86%. I missed a load of field then. It's going to be night time soon and neither of us have a farmhouse. Oh, we don't, we don't have anywhere to sleep. There you are, standing in the middle of your field. Yeah, I'm debating which uh, job to take next. There's pretty much food. No, I ain't doing that. Jeez. Field 11 is huge. Use your own equipment or lease equipment for... Oh, it only costs 770 to lease the items. So you have a massive discount if you lease the items for the mission than if you would just go to the store to lease them. Looks like I'm going to be working through the night, though. It's going to be good to show off the uh, new lighting. Yeah. I basically want to keep... At the moment, I'm doing fertiliser missions until uh, I run out of fertiliser. So contracting seems to play a big part in FS19, which is cool. Certainly, the, the start from scratch mode certainly seems to be a huge part of it. Um, but like, like in FS17, it's, um, it's something you can do a lot while you're waiting for your own crops to grow. Uh, and in fact, I like, I like that it stays in uh, real time in, FS, uh, in FS19. So your crops can actually grow while you're doing missions. Or while you're doing contracts. Good, because I've only got one field. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Is yours grown? Sowing. Sowed, even. Mine, yeah, so mine's sowing with potatoes. So at some point I'm going to have to um, harvest the potatoes. Uh, which if I'm I wasn't doing buy, a video... I'm going to buy a trailer for and borrow a harvester for. There was a mission for field four. And if I wasn't doing a mission, I would have done it. Uh, if I wasn't doing a video, I would have done it. Because it's huge. That would be the whole video, I think. Yeah, I think staying around this area here doing missions is... I'm heading awesome. to your neck of the woods at the moment. I'm about to harvest field 17 for some geezer. Ah. That's all right, I'm, uh, I'm spraying field 21, which is right next to you. Yeah. Nice flat, actually. Get that soil nice and moist for me. So nice nice, nice and moist, ready for you to, to purchase later. Uh, so field four is a huge field, but comes with two cotton harvesters. And... Uh, yeah, I was thinking that. That's obviously giving you, and some, if you've got someone else on your farm. But I don't know if you can hire me for your I contract. Think, I think I can hire you as a contractor. So I'm going to have a look at this. Well, I won't do it yet because I'm currently on a contract. No, obviously. But um, there should be, a, there is a way. Ah, oh, ah. Okay. So, yes, I can grant you as a contractor. So I think, I think if we've got something that's going to go through the night, cotton harvest is going to take forever anyway. Um, it'd be good to show the cotton harvest off, and, um, and, uh, and, and we could put a couple, a couple of cuts in to make it go a bit quicker so our, uh, so our viewers don't get too bored. <laughs> oh, dude, soybeans, I wondered. Uh, 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 one thing I didn't really announce is the chopped straw for the FS19. I didn't really announce that, but it is looking really cool. I know, again, it's, it's one of those nice little features. And somebody did ask in one of the live streams if it counts as fertilising. No, no, it doesn't. It's just decoration. No. Which should also make cultivating easier. Because you can see where, where you've been. This field's actually pretty good size. I'm glad I chose it. Look at the the light is definitely dropping now. Look at those clouds. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay. So. <coughs> One of the things I've always said is the clouds uh, look amazing in FS19. Look at those clouds. But how do I get there? I'm getting 60 FPS at the moment. 59.60, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm also getting 60. I'm interested to see what my home computer does. This is multiplayer as well, which yeah. is... Phew. It's getting pretty dark now. Let's get the lights turned on. We'll get the work lights turned on. Got that. New particle effect. 
so I am going to drop off my sprayer as there's nothing I can do at the moment. This is where I'm eventually going to build my barn. How much is a barn, actually? Now, for those of you wondering, if VF had a farmhouse and wanted to skip the night, it would come up on my end saying, do you want to skip the night? And if I said no, <laughs> VF would have to work through the night. Have to work the night. But I think, I think working together for a cotton harvest that's worth, you know, 7,000 each to us actually is a pretty Is it 14 grand to... for the whole field? What? Is it 14 grand for the whole 14 field? 14 grand for the whole field. It's a big contract. It's such a really cool night time with the new lights. I say, I'm, driving, I'm driving along the road. I've got, uh, I've got my lights and everything on and the entire interior uh, of this, uh, this vulture is lit up. There's not much going on in the inside of this combine but it's like realistic there's like nothing to light up it's pretty plain inside because i'm in the rostel mash ah. which is pretty plain anyway the screen lights up really nice though lights up the cat i've missed some too busy sightseeing the inside <laughs> right so i need to purchase so vf has 114,000 pounds left and i have 161 but you did buy that barn I did my shed, bar, and I have bought myself a front loader and forks. Uh, I'm going to buy. That's going to boost me up a bit. Mm. Where's my field? There was a star. ST Max 180. Work lights on temporarily. I love the flare that comes off the lights. It's now uh, nearly half five in the morning. Ah, and the sun is coming up. And we are almost back at our farm with our trailer of fertilizer. Ooh, that was close. It's very scary when you're going over the tracks and you hear dong 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 dong. <laughs> <laughs> so have you finished harvesting field 17? Um, not just yet. I've it says I'm 50% done, but I've also not unloaded the grain just yet, so it might turn around and say finished after I unload the grain. I'm just taking the tractor. Oh. I've, I've just thrown my box of fertilizer <laughs> over my shed. <laughs> That was impressive. It's in my potatoes. I know I told you this off camera, but the star is already growing on me. Yeah. I've got kind of good tractors. At least I've never seen a real one, but quite enjoyable to use in game at least. The trouble is, I, t I tend to prefer uh, their New Holland equivalents. Yeah, I'm definitely a money's worth man like if the star is going to give me so much horsepower for so much price and then the new holland's charging a lot for the same price i'm like yeah let's get the star <laughs> right let's get this trailer unload well get this trailer loaded even see how much that takes us up to our goal because we've got a quarter of the field left something like that a third of the field i love the new sound of the unloading as well Sun comes up. I have my liquid fertilizer back in my shed. And I can't harvest getting on. Uh, we'll miss fishing the first row. But there's a, probably a jump cut just before I ask that. And um, what you guys don't know is he's been doing that one row for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what I am is about 5% full. <laughs> We're probably going to get like four bales out of the whole field. Yeah, Did you get the truck with the contract or the trailer? Yes, there's a, there's a truck with well. well, I'm doing field um, 7, 17 so I can look on your map and it's pretty small, it's taking ages. <laughs> Where does this want to be unloaded to? It doesn't actually say. I'm three rows into this now. Restaurant. I found a bit of a, not a bug, um, but... I now have two flashing delivery bases. One for the cotton and one for the grain that I'm currently working on. Uh, uh, yeah, that's actually your subcontractor to me in the 
Interestingly enough, I have the option to drive all of your vehicles, including the VF mobile. Yeah, you do. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to joyride VF's fake John Deere. <laughs> While I'm on my third row of cotton harvesting. This, if I get it right, could potentially be the last row of harvesting if I don't mess up. I get the header exactly right. This may be a multi part video. I already planned that as well. <laughs> <laughs> it got to a certain stage, I was like, mm, this is probably going to be a two part. But I th sometimes they come out best, though. Yeah. Because I mean, we don't just like, stop harvest midfield. Please don't say you have to reverse into the restaurant because I got a dolly trailer. Nope, you don't have to reverse into the restaurant. In fact, they're pretty much all drive through, aren't they, on this map? Which yep. is really nice to see. No, this is leased. Oh, it's it's part of the contract. Uh, and they leased admissions. It'll take a while before that gets glued into my brain. I'm assuming the restaurant cell point is the big building that says restaurant on the front. That it is. I just gotta find the actual uh, tippy thing. There it is. Yeah. Right, R, B, and Y. Contract can finished. Eight hundred and thirty six. Oh, I can't use that. Let's go back to the keyboard and mouse. There we go, completed. I am 8% through with the contract. Right, so let me jump into not the fake John Deere. There. You didn't even bring it up to the field for us, guys. Jeez. I don't have follow me. That's an extra 10% in travelling. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm about 10% through the job, so it cancels out. 